Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprememastertv.com lomítko schedule. I say with Trump we will have more chance. More chance for peace and we're vegan, even though he was not vegan. But I just say we have more chance with him. I didn't say the last chance, okay? Yes, master. We must have hope and prayers still. Yes, master. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu and Thai. Bonjour means hello in French, the official language of Gabon. My name is Marlene, joining you with the loving thoughts from the affectionate people of Gabon. Located on the equator on the west coast of Central Africa, Gabon has an 800 km Atlantic Ocean coastline and is neighbored by Equatorial Guinea. Republic of the Congo and Cameroon. The nation is known for its dense rainforest that covers three-fourths of the country and is home to nearly 9,000 species of plants and animals. To preserve this incredible biodiversity, the Gabonese government designated 13 national parks. These provide much-needed habitat for the endangered chimpanzee and the critically endangered western lowland gorilla. Spanning four provinces in the country, the Lope Okanda Park and its related archaeological sites have been inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Gabon has also pledged further measures to protect wildlife and has become an exemplary nation in the enforcement of anti poaching laws. Moreover, a program called Green Gabon focuses on renewable energy development as well as sustainable practices that support both the rainforest and the nation's people. The ethnic origins of the Gabonese people are largely Bantu, with 40 different Bantu groups living in Gabon today. Festivities celebrated include religious holidays as well as those honoring artists, such as the Festival of Cultures. This colorful celebration brings together Gabonese people and also welcomes the artistic input of foreign guests. We were especially happy to introduce the spectacular natural beauty of Gabon to you, marvelous viewers. We pray that your lives be filled with precious moments.
For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored Wan Shakyamuni Buddha the worshipped son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Devji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals and many awards such as the 2006 Guzi Peace Prize considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, Loving Heart, vegan food companies, vegan food products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Thursday, February 18, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled The Snake Inside Humans, Part 9 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on February 18, 2021. Only if you have wisdom eye, you can see that. Only if you have developed your own wisdom, you can discern it. Otherwise, it doesn't look the way it looks. It's not the way it seems. I can see very clearly, but uh, who am I to say anything? <laughs> I mean, who would believe me when they already so blindfolded? But you can see very clearly, okay, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma Master, could you please give us a hint? A hint? Hmm. You can see, for example, if somebody like President Trump, who has united many nations together in peace and harmony so that their citizens have no more fear of war, suffering and grievance of loss and or injuries because of the war and the famine and untold suffering. Someone who is able to do that is exceptional even though he did not have much praise for that due to jealousy or ignorance or blindness of some humans. But someone who has been able to do that kind of extraordinary work, then you must know very well and obviously he has the support of heavens and he must have angels, protectors from the positive power around him or with him, 24-7. Yes, 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 yes. So just, just like our Lord Jesus in old time, not that Trump is compared to Jesus. What I mean is that to be a good being, a saintly person, or a good leader in this world, you are often persecuted like that, as if the humans are blind, deaf, and dumb, cannot distinguish between right and wrong, a good person and bad person. But you, 
You can tell, okay? Yes. The people with wisdom, they can tell. But the people without wisdom, because they're blind, they are blindfolded with hatred and vengeance and selfish, petty mentality. They cannot see it or they don't want to see it. Now, is it clear to you? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. I don't really hint. <laughs> well, I am always straight. I always tell the truth and you know that by now. Yes. Like I have said many times, due to scientific evidence that the methane gas will disperse quickly out of the atmosphere. And if we get rid of the methane gas by eliminating animal industries, which produce the most methane gas, more than all the airplanes and, and, and the cars and all these mechanical stuff together, and so if we get rid of the methane, then the planet will cool out quickly. And the CO2 and all that, we can slowly change. Because the CO2 will, will last thousands of years in the atmosphere. So even if we get rid of the CO2, the CO2 is still there from the past. Yes, yes. And how long until you get rid of the CO2? Anyway, I mean the carbon dioxide from the, the car and from the ship and whatever. How long will you be able to do that? Because people are still driving cars, using all kinds of machines that emit the CO2. But the methane, if we get rid of animal industry, then no more. It will disappear in just some 10 years. And the planet will be saved. Because the methane warms the planet the most. But luckily, it's the most easy to get rid of and fastest. Yes. It's so logical to all eyes, all ears, but nobody does that. Nobody follows. All the top leaders of the world that ignore this fact, scientifically proven. Even children would understand that. But it seems like they don't understand or they don't want to. So if the planet has trouble, if all people or any people are killed because of the climate change, the government leaders, I say, are guilty because they have the power to stop it, to change it. I hope they rethink about that so they don't have to go down to hell and answer to the king of hell or the Maya waiting for them, Satan waiting for them. Like we attract like. No need to say that I'm threatening anybody. You are in power. You're in privilege. You are well paid. You're getting rich by the taxpayers of your country. You should do what you must do in order to rescue your people. And if you don't, then you're guilty of murdering humans, not just animals. I'm telling you the truth like that. Oh, sorry, what else? Oh, did I answer your question fully? Yes, Master. Thank you, You're Master. You're satisfied with that? Yes, Master. Good. Thank you for getting me into trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I have to speak out. I told you with you, I'll be honest in every way. Okay? Yes, yes. At least I tell you what I can, and whatever heaven told me not. Uh, also because of the world, then I won't tell. But everything I tell you honestly, 100%, I have nothing hidden from you. Hmm? All right. Uh, any more questions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Who? Man or woman? Sisters go. Oh, sister go first. Lady first. Okay. Go. <laughs> Uh, Master, I was wondering, the situa political situation in America right now, is it like a symbolic um, battle between good and bad, between a greater change coming in the world? And also, for example, Master mentioned that um, President Donald Trump is maybe, I think Master said, maybe one of the last chances for a vegan world. Mm -hmm. Maybe he can try again, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. He has just been acquitted of the wrong accusation. They even call him and his followers terrorists and all that. Meanwhile, they are terrorizing half of your country, people at least, by scare tactics. So, uh, I think I'm already in trouble. <laughs> I don't care, I'm telling you. Uh, maybe Mr. Trump will try again, okay? I don't want to tell you anything anymore. Every time I tell you something, it just goes wrong. <laughs> Even I told you about the tools that I was very, very proud of, like a Swiss knife and all that. Next day, I lost it. Oh, no. I told you already, the toolbox is all lost. 
the nails and the, the tools that I need, the, the sc screwdriver, <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah. Of course I can buy it again, but what I mean is, oh God, how can it be so quick? I mean, I just told them and it's gone. <laughs> Many things I told people, you know, the disciples, the next time is no good for me. Okay, huh? Yes. 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 Never mind. I did not say Mr. Trump is the last chance, did I? Uh, you asked if he is, right? Yes, I think Master mentioned that he is one of the, he is one of the hopes for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, uh, he is a good instrument for peace. You can see that already, right? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Uh, okay. You, if you read the news, you follow the news, you can see some of the effect. Okay? Anything Mr. Trump wanted to do or, or did, they, they kind of delete it. Nullify? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or do the opposite way, okay? Just, just to be the opposite. Just because it was from Trump, for example. But I say with Trump, we will have more chance more chance for peace and we're vegan, even though he was not vegan. But I just say we have more chance with him. I didn't say the last chance, okay? Yes, Master. We must have hope and prayers still. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I'm still working with, uh, quietly, to help in any way I can, to minimize the effect and to help uh, the other, the opposition for both. Yes. yes. yes Master. And I just uh, do what I can only. I have to always, always have to be also fair and just, yeah, for the victims. If they don't listen to me and they don't want to let go, they still want to revenge, then I cannot do anything. Yes. I cannot punish them for that. They have the right to revenge. I mean, the, the souls that have been killed in the animal factory and all that, and uh, the victims of wars and, and, and oppression and victims of all kinds of human trafficking that die in agony and die wrongly and early. All these victims, if they don't listen and they, they don't want to let go, then I cannot do anything. Yes. I have to respect the flow of the karma circle. Yes. So whatever I can do, I do. If I cannot do, I just let it go. Huh? Mm. Yes. Humans have to be awakened also, okay? After so many masters came and went. I mean, if they want to, they can. Just they don't want to. You can see so obviously about the climate change, not to talk about anything else. Yes, they don't want to. They don't want to let go of that piece of meat, even the neighbors dying from climate change. Because they are in power, so they have privilege. They live in a safe house, safe area, they have a safe car, they even have safe bodyguards or police or the whole army with them. They never short of anything. So they cannot sympathize with the poorer people who cannot afford anything like that. Yes, yes. Yes. They don't know hardship. So I was surprised at Mr. Trump, even though he was not like one of the poor people, but he sympathized with the poorer workers. He revived all the work for the workers to continue to do their jobs. Because sometimes uh, those people, maybe they have no other job training, they didn't know what else to do. And if you are already in the middle age or above, you cannot train anymore. Nobody accepts you or anything. It's very difficult to, to find a job when you are already older. And then if you don't have a job, you lose the house. Many Americans are losing houses right now. and. The amounts of homeless in, for example, in, in, in LA, in, in California, is rising up and up. It's not only a suffering for the homeless people, but also for their neighbors who are more well off. Because they worry that a lot of homeless in their hometown nearby, then their value, their security, and all that are threatened. Because the homeless people, they live sometimes in tents, but they also use some. Uh, maybe a kerosene light or oven to warm themselves up yes, in winter. Yes. And the neighbors nearby, they worry that they will burn their tent if they are careless. And then it burn the whole area of tents, many tents together, and it will affect their house. Yes, yeah, all kind of things. It's not like, okay, you are homeless, no problem. It, it causes a problem in the society and the neighborhood as well. 
And the homeless keep rising now because of the pandemic, because people lose their jobs. And the stimulus check that the government promised, they're discussing, discussing, discussing forever. <laughs> Don't know when people will get it. Uh, before President Trump went out of office, he he wanted people to have at least $2,000 stimulus check. But then they argue, argue, argue. The Democrats didn't want it and all that. And then later on, they forced him. He had to sign $600 only. He had to. Because if he waited until they agree, then maybe people would have nothing. So he was very reluctant. And he had to sign for $600. And now the other party came up, they want to pay more, so flashing out the money to... But uh, money is not everything, even though people are happy to get a check, but if you don't do your job well, if you don't have uh, sincere intentions, people will smell it. People are smart. The majority of people, they can sense who is sincere, who is not. Maybe after the snake is gone, <laughs> after the demon disappears. Yeah, it begins to, like... Uh, uh, wind down already, the support and the popularity. I saw a little bit different in the news now. The tone is quite different now than before, okay? It could be uh, less and less. So I think the other party, the opposition party should uh, be careful and behave themselves properly, really think of the suffering people, really work for the people, really think of the way to help them not just to enjoy your power and privilege, and whoever dies, you don't care. Then not only God will punish you, but people will also, in some way, even though they have less power. But the power of people is strong. If it keeps brewing up, then it will be mighty and unstoppable. If you are in the political arena, you should better think about that. Many kings came and went, many Great kings like Alexander also at the end had nothing because this world is like that. We brought in nothing, we will go with nothing. So the most important thing is during our life we have to do good. We have to really think of others. If we have the chance and the power to change the people's lives and make it a better life for them, then you will have a better position afterlife, because the afterlife exists. Everybody knows that by now, through near-death experiences, books or films or their own intellectual power would know about that. Okay, thank you for your, all your trouble questions. <laughs> Any more? Don't worry. I'm getting old already. Whatever happens, I have lived a good life. I mean, good in my standard. Not like luxury life or good anything, but a good life. Because I'm good. Because I do good. Okay? That's what I call a good life. viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Snake Inside Humans, Part 9 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is The Discerning of Spirits, Selections from the Perfect Way or the Finding of Christ by Dr. Anna Kingsford, Vegetarian, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your constant spiritual awareness give rise to wonderful awakenings. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.